Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is having a great day. So we're gonna go ahead and continue with our collective reads. This will be for all signs, which means it may or may not resonate with you in your personal situation. If it does, take what resonates. If it does not, leave the rest for those that it applies in their personal situation. All right, collective. I'm loving the energy that I'm feeling for you guys. I uploaded a reading a little bit earlier and just pulling in that energy. Where the collective is right now, you're really tapping into what you want to manifest going forward. And this definitely is connected to uh, the moon, new moon in Taurus coming up on Tuesday. But I really feel like overall, just in general, you got a lot going on and you, you are very clear about what you want and what you don't want. And you're focused on clearing out all that negative energy. You may have started out the day by doing some type of manifestation, you know, going out in nature, possibly doing, you know, some type of, um, you know, connecting with, you know, source and, you know, your spirit guides and your ancestors. So something like that you might have started the day with and it's like you're definitely focusing on your own energy right about now yes about the things that are going on but more so about you and where you want to go that's exactly where you should be right now it's not by happenstance this is the energy of the collective at this time so that being said you know once you kind of put your attentions out there i feel like whatever is coming out in your energy it's like you're pulling out some old things you know things that won't fit in this new world this new life this new energy of yours and you're being clear with yourself. And this is confirmed what I'm talking about. You're coming out as a star energy first off the bat. This is wishes. This is hope. This is guidance. This is light at the end of a tunnel. You know what I'm saying? This is you being a guide for yourself in that quiet meditative space. You know, uh, you know, talking to most high, your spirit team and your ancestors. It's like you're getting guidance. And I really believe that it may have come through whatever prayer meditation you may have done. You might have went out in nature, you know, gotten out, gotten some of that natural vitamin D, you know what I'm saying, collective? But this is you getting that guidance over this two of pentacles and the inverse energy, being overwhelmed, right? Whatever you got going on, it doesn't matter who it was with, the friend, the family member, the ex, the karmic, you know, the coworker, the, the coworker that's trying to be your boss and or your boss. It doesn't matter who it is. You're getting guidance in your downloads and your prayer meditation about whatever the two of pentacles and the inverse situation is for you that made you feel overwhelmed, made you feel like you were burning the candle at both ends. You know what I'm saying? It's like you just, you got a whole lot going on. You know, that's what, that's what's coming out there, but it, it's, you're getting guidance on how to push through or you're focusing your, your intent on how to push through. And then you arrive at that decision with the nine of wands and the inverse energy. Y'all, y'all are out there doing some things energetically because I feel it and it's coming out in the cards. Okay. Nine of Wands in the inverse, this is you like dropping your defenses against being overwhelmed. You're just like, no, that's not my energy. I'm not doing it. I'm giving up on this. I'm not accepting energy that's not mine, right? Because here is your energy. This is fresh new energy, right, Collective? You're like, no, I don't want to be overwhelmed. I want to be this star over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you know you are a star. And because it's like you're giving up on that energy to move in your true energy, right? Queen of Pentacles, you're a responsible, you're practical, grounded energy. Someone probably connected to nature. Again, you might've went out in nature today, right? But it doesn't have to be. You might be, uh, you know, just a really grounded person. You know how to ground your energy, right? So you, you're also someone who's very good with, you know, uh, your finances, your money. So this might be someone who does have a business calling in that pin Pinnacle energy. And I said that on my earlier reading. So, you know, it'll resonate for a lot of different people. However, you choose to move forward in this new energy. It doesn't matter if you're trying to start your own business, you know, increase your business, you know what I'm saying? Move to a different job, calling in that pinnacle energy. Um, you, you might be somebody who's just really wanting to focus on equal partnerships, friends, family, interpersonal relationships that work with you, how to be responsible and practical and grounded about finding those people, you know, sort of resonate differently for a lot of people, but you're like, I'm giving up on that two of pinnacles and the inverse. I don't want to be overwhelmed no more. I want to be who I really am. And this is you deciding to move in your manifestations and clearing out that negative energy. That's not yours. You know what I'm saying? That was the circumstances that you were in, but it's not your own energy. This is your energy, right? Dealing with some type of energy of the magician and the inverse energy, dealing with some type of lies, uh, manipulation, deception. This also does um, call in the energy of lack of resources and lack of confidence. So to only take that if it resonates, but it, it also is the energy of the magician and the inverse, someone who does not have resources. So a lack mindset. Only take that if it resonates with you. If you were kind of like in, um, you know, in a situation that had you overwhelmed and it had you in that lack mindset, well, I don't have, or, um, oh my God, my boss is going to fire me because he doesn't like me. That lack mindset of you can't go out and get another one. You know what I'm saying? Or it could resonate where 
you know, I don't necessarily know where, you know, my, my next job is going to come from. I don't have nothing lined up, but believing in yourself to know that you are the queen of pentacles, you are business savvy. Okay. Collective. You can go out and get another one. These companies got it twisted. They don't have nothing over you. Okay. <laughs> Especially with you connected to your spirit team. What? Nah, mm -mm. they ain't got nothing on you. So, and y'all notice how the star energy falls out right over the magician in the inverse. You know, again, so even if you are not someone who had that, you know, scarcity going on and that, that, um, you know, being unconfident about whatever they, they were being overwhelmed with, what if you were not that person? You were getting guidance and hope to deal with deception and manipulation, manipulation and trickery in your energy. You're overcoming all of that negativity. And whether it was you internally or externally, you were overcoming that to go into your King of Pentacles. Y'all escalation over here, moving from the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Okay. King of Pentacles, you are someone who uh, materializes and definitely is a provider of finance, security, and stability. You're also very trustworthy and disciplined in your energy, right? Very disciplined to overcome this well, being overwhelmed, right? You're very disciplined and you're very trustworthy. And it's, I said this on my earlier reading today, trusting yourself. You know what I'm saying? And only take that part if it resonates. It may resonate for somebody. It may not resonate for somebody else. But somebody out there in the collective did not trust themselves to really own their power. You, you're walking in it right now because you're deciding to make that decision. This is who I am. Right, right collective. Yeah, tell them. Tell them. Okay. <laughs> With this Ace of Cups and the upright energy, you're opening your heart a lot of times. And it's, y'all, it starts with you. You know what I'm saying? You, you People can't tell you who you are if you believe that you are somebody who you really are. You see what I'm saying? Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. I don't care if people thought you were, you know, a janitor. No, no, I'm not. I'm the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles. You want to see my resume? Okay. You know what I'm saying? But this is you opening your heart with the ace of cups, opening your heart to you. And if you did have that lack mindset and you were not sure because of the circumstances that had you overwhelmed, because of the manipulation and deception that was going on with other people, you know what I'm saying? You were just like, no, I refuse to take on that energy, that two of pentacles and the inverse, right? This is you opening your heart and new romantic feelings or it doesn't have to be romantic, but if it is, you know what I'm saying? You might be coming into new partnerships because you've got the two of cups coming out here. Hello. And this is just opening your heart to shared feelings in general, shared feelings about anything, person, place, or thing, place the energy where it resonates, a new friend, a new family member, a new bond with that family member. You know what I'm saying? A new business relationship, queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, a new job, starting that new business. Come on, y'all. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Two of Cups, this is partnerships. And I said this, I've been saying this for the past few days now. You are calling in the partnerships and the friendships and relationships that you want that are on par with you, equal. You're on the same page. You don't want to be around people that want to take from you and that are jealous and envious of you. No, that would have you in that energy. That would have you in that magician in the inverse energy too. People who are trying to deceive you and trick you all the time because they're jealous of you, because you show up better than them, honey. That is not your problem. That's theirs. Let them own that them problem. You own your power. You know what I'm saying? Whatever this two of pentacles, or excuse me, this uh, two of cups situation is, this is an equal partnership. And this is you deciding and calling out to the universe, this is what I want. I don't want nobody who's jealous of me. I don't want nobody who's envious of me. I don't want nobody who's going to try to deceive me and try to take me down with their lies only because I do what they can't do. Come on, collective. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? And when you speak that out to the universe, I said that in my earlier reading, when you speak that out to the universe, it brings a six of wands to the, in the inverse energy to whatever this is, a failure to the magician in the inverse. Doesn't matter if it's whoever those people are that were trying to bring you down, they fail. You know what I'm saying? Once you decide your energy, you decide how you want to move forward and you decide to move forward in that energy, six of wands in the energy, uh, inverse, they fail. This is also a failure to people being in their ego about you. This is also a failure to people wanting reward uh, without effort around you. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to take from you all the time. You know what I'm saying? It's like you speaking out with this queen of swords energy. Y'all, y'all are coming out so powerful. This is you setting your intentions to the universe and this is a universe boomerang it back to you, right? Queen of swords. You're knowledgeable. You're opinionated. You know what I'm saying? You're a free thinker. You think for yourself. You're thinking for yourself about what you want and what you don't want right about now. This is your energy. You know, and it, if, it, if it doesn't matter if it was somebody who was trying to take something from you, you know, that job and you're the only person that provides for you and your family, you destiner that didn't know what was going on, you know, behind the scenes, but you know now, you know what I'm saying? Very knowledgeable, Queen of Swords. 
but at the same time, you're very knowledgeable. You're very business savvy. You know how to navigate the situations to move forward to your next opportunity. That will be an equal partnership with you, Two of Cups, okay? Dealing with people who have the um, the higher fun and the inverse energy, people who will give you corrupt advice, you know, uh, devoid of principles, right? People who are just morally corrupt around you, who always do the wrong things, who always are committed to lying, tricking, manipulating, deceiving with this magician and the inverse energy, right? Who always fail and they're always in their ego, right? Four wands and the inverse energy for them. They're, all that junk is getting canceled because of the new partnerships that you're getting in. You're calling out to the universe and saying, this is what I want. So when you tell the universe, this is what you want, guess what happens to this, okay? <laughs> Our friend in the inverse is getting canceled. They get canceled. What they wanted for you was happening to them. Once you tell the most high, the universe, your spirit guides and your ancestors, this is what I want. I don't want this no more. And I'm serious about it. I'm serious about giving up this being overwhelmed. I am serious, God. Mm -mm. Take that out of my life. Guess what he does? He, t he does what you ask him to do. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, it's power in the name, y'all. Four ones in the inverse. They get canceled. They get shut down. It's not going to turn out like they want to with you. You know what I'm saying? And this is going to be your six of pentacles. It's going to bring you balance. It's going to be made fair. It's going to give you some type of support, possibly financial support, okay? Possibly some type of financial assistance with this pentacle energy, right? Um, and, and this is definitely something to where you setting your intentions and setting those boundaries. I don't care if it was your friend or family member. Setting boundaries with them means you need to get your balance right people who who are running like this and who are always in their ego and just trying to manipulate and deceive you all the time they got no balance so it's got to be you the ones that has to set them right collective so it doesn't have to be a business situation it can just be the partnerships that you're in you know family doesn't matter who it is you've got to set boundaries and call out what you want and stand on that to bring in your own balance and when that happens it's going to be a tower to them you know what i'm saying because you're setting your intentions right this is going to be a tower. It's going to be shock. It's not going to be expected for them, right? They're not going to necessarily know how to take it, but this is their faulty foundations coming down about how they maneuver their life with you. You're not standing for the crap anymore. You're like, no, I'm moving forward into what I want, not what you want and not what you made me to, or what you wanted me to do or not what you thought that I was. I'm moving forward with who I really am, calling in my power. You know what I'm saying? Because you were carrying that hangman energy, looking at things from a different perspective. And with this, I got some downloads with this. You're turning pain into power, right? It's because everybody wanted something from you. Again, place the energy where it resonates. Friend, family, the, the ex, the, the, the karmic, the, the co-worker that was trying to be your boss, the, the boss itself, HR. Everybody wanted something from you, right? So it was just like that two of pentacles and the inverse energy. It had you like really down. Like, why is everybody against me? Do you know what I'm saying? But now in this, this meditative healing energy that we've got going on in the collective right now, you're setting your intention to look at things differently. Seeing the bigger picture, as it were, turning pain into power, my download said. You know what I'm saying? Um, I did. My download said, you're looking really good out here because you're choosing your energy. And when you do, that's quite literally manifestation. You know what I'm saying? Believe in who you are, walking it and talking it. And then once you call that out, this is what I want. That get, it, it happens okay collective it happens as soon as you start seeing things from a different perspective and turning your pain into power dealing with whatever this five of wands situation is conflict arguments rivalry competition literally they can't compete where they don't compare and it's like high time i sat out in front and said that there is no competition here you don't compare <laughs> you know what i'm saying collective literally they cannot compete where they don't compare so it doesn't matter who is trying to compete with you they were out of their league man they were out of their league literally because you're turning pain into power right y'all confirmation this is exactly what i'm saying i don't make up the energy it's here it's yours you know what i'm talking about because you're feeling the energy too with the strength this is you being fearless against this competition this fake phony competition people were just triggered by you because you were more than what they are you had more than what they wanted more than what they had you are who they said that they were so they had to compete for it remember competition happens at the bottom people at the top are uh, collaborating you know what i'm saying so if you're in some type of competition that means somebody is at the bottom but at the same time your strength energy is like overcoming obstacles this is you pulling out your inner strength your inner confidence your inner courage to deal with the situation by seeing it in a new light by literally turning pain into power and our last clarifier is that's what's giving you your page of wands this is a new breath of fresh air and the energy that i'm getting for the collective this is you bringing yourself good news some childlike enthusiasm 
right? And this is like an adventurous spirit. Like you, you're able to see the world now. You can see things clearly. You know what I mean? It's like you can see your life again, right? Dealing with whoever these people were, it doesn't matter because they were trying to dim your light in the first place. Now the blinders are off. You got this page of wands energy. So you're like, no, I'm going to call in my real energy. I'm going to go out boldly out front. Okay. Let's get an astrology card to see what energy is at work here. Card 41, the North Node talks about your life purpose. Um, and this is what I, I really feel. Somebody is really moving into the North Node because they're really defining and stepping into what they want versus staying in what they don't want. You know what I'm saying? The North Node points out the best areas for us to direct our talents and our wills. The North Node shows the area of our gifts. It represents destiny. It is directly opposed to the South Node, which is more serious and restrictive. The North Node represents where we benefit from good work done in past lives and how that assists us in the here and now. The North Node is the place in the chart where life becomes easier. It acts like a karmic Jupiter where a doorway opens and suddenly you are where you need to be. Yep. When the North Node card represents itself in a reading, you can be assured destiny has a place in your situation. Through many life lessons, you're about to arrive at a place for your highest good. Your life is expanding and opportunities pour in swiftly, catching you quite by surprise. This card also represents past life memories and karmic connections. You may meet people you've known in many past lives, perhaps in a soul family where bonds form very quickly. You are taking on a larger view of your life, which not only emphasizes your talents, but aligns your talents like like-minded souls. It's a fortuitous time to begin a privately owned business or other professional venture that will bring in extra finances. Whatever this venture may be, fun and creativity and optimism will be a part of it. At this time, you will feel less limited and your goals and plans will have a far reaching potential. Keep in mind, the lunar nodes always bring shifts and challenges. For instance, a relationship with someone who has a destiny spelled all over him or her may suddenly walk into your life. If so, this relationship will start rapidly and be life altering. One job may end swiftly and you will find yourself in a much more suitable position. If the energy is used correctly, it will promote greater optimism and prosperity. This means finances are also likely to increase. This energy is now telling you that the schooling part is over for now. Lessons have been learned and you are now able to act on these lessons toward a greater destiny. At this time, it is evident where you need to go and where you need to be. As the soul's messenger, the appearance of the North Note card indicates in the spread that you are growing into what is called the larger unknown, meaning you are moving forward to a point that promises greater fulfillment. The nodes are karmic, therefore the lessons are not easy ones. Matters will develop suddenly, but there is still work to be done. Luck is on your side with an opening toward greater things. Karmic lessons learned and process bring full fulfillment and happiness. Y'all, this is exactly the energy that I'm feeling. And this is something that you would know as well because you're feeling it, you're praying on it, you're meditating it, and you're setting your intentions. You're in your North Node or you're definitely heading there, Collective. Let's get a Divine Nature Oracle and we'll wrap up. Card 39, Kiss the Muse. Okay, kissing the muse. So, you know, possibly some type of creative projects going on. You might got a muse that's kind of directing your creative spark. However, that resonates. Remy once said, there is a kiss that we ache for with our whole lives, the touch of the spirit on the body. And now is the time to honor that sacred connection. Indulge your wonder and awe, your passion as well. Let yourself be kissed by the muse, falling madly in love by what inspires you. Inspiration literally means to breathe in and the hidden power of the muse's kiss is that that you follow your bliss. It passes on the breath of permission to others who observe your passion. In this way, the kiss of deep joy is contagious. It's time to start a movement of passion and freedom. Let it begin with you. Y'all, literally what I just said. It starts with you. You setting your intention, deciding your energy, and moving with it, moving with your muse, you know what I'm saying? Moving to your north node. This is what's going to bring you balance and bring you strength to get your good news and the new partnerships, y'all. I love this. That's going to go ahead and do it for this particular reading. If you do like this content, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until the next time, bye-bye.